Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Gordon Frayne and today we are looking at DeFi Llama to show you everything about DeFi Llama and bring you a tutorial and a high level overview of the DeFi Llama platform. As always, before we jump into the topic of today's video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up video, the thumbs up button below if you enjoy the content. Um, please make sure you're subscribed. We're on the road to our first 1000 subscribers and smash that bell notification icon so you can get notified as we're dropping multiple videos every single week for you to stay up to date on all the latest moves in the crypto space. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video and explain what is DeFi Llama. So at a very high level, DeFi Llama is essentially a one-stop shop dashboard that curates all of the data for all of the different protocols that operate in the decentralized finance space. And we're going to go through a lot of the stuff here on DeFi Llama at a high level and show you how to use it and how to use its basic functionality. But it can be somewhat overwhelming because there is just so much data in here with regards to all of the different protocols, all of the different decentralized exchanges, all of the different lending platforms. So there is an... Um, you're almost inundated with the amount of data that is here on the platform that you have access to. So it can be overwhelming, but let's take it step by step and look at the different, uh, the main different areas um, and the different dashboards in here on the left hand panel that might be useful for you as you navigate your way through decentralized finance. So first things first, obviously we've got um, the overview area that loads by default when you come to DeFiLlama.com. And the overview area basically just gives you a high level snapshot of the entire DeFi landscape. Um, it shows us first and foremost, the total value locked across all DeFi protocols. So we're sitting just under 100 billion um, in terms of total value locked. And the protocol rankings is the next thing that it shows us by default, giving us um, the different protocols ranked from top to bottom here based on TVL or total value locked. So we've got Lido Finance, which is the, um, the number one protocol in terms of total value locked with over 37 billion US dollars. Then we've got some of the other large protocols like Eigenlayer, which is making big moves over the past few months. Um, we've got Aave, Maker, JustLend, SummerFi, Uniswap, um, Rocket Pool, Spark, and Binance Staked ETH, all making up the top 10. And again, all ranging from about 3 billion to 37 billion in terms of total value locked. This dashboard is super useful because it allows us to see, you know, the top protocols, but also showing us which protocols are growing in terms of TDL and um, what kind of changes we're seeing. So as I just mentioned, Eigenlayer has been making big moves over the past couple of months. And we can see that the one month change for Eigenlayer, it's up over 125% in terms of TDL over the past month. And that is the largest increase out of the top 10 protocols here. Most of the other protocols are increasing anywhere between kind of, you know, 18 to 30 percent um summerfy actually is even more than eigenlayer apologies at 133 percent but this quick snapshot allows us to basically see the top ranking protocols in terms of tvl and which protocols are growing um at a faster rate than others in terms of where is the money flowing and again where the capital is flowing is often where there's an opportunity for you to make money and we will be dropping other videos on the channel all about, you know, doing concentrated liquidity and becoming a concentrated liquidity market maker. But at a high level, this dashboard allows us to see where the money is flowing. So lots of capital flowing into Eigenlayer in particular. Look, all of the entire DeFi space is growing. Obviously, we're up, you know, 30, 40, 50 percent on the month. And um, there's a lot of capital flowing into the crypto space in general. But um, the 
spotting the the protocols where the money is flowing gives us the best opportunity to position ourselves to benefit from that as well so the next thing we're going to look at is the chains here so if we click on chains um, it gives us a breakdown of the total value locked across all chains of course ethereum is the largest chain by far when it comes to total value locked um, ethereum has really been the leader in the DeFi space over the past number of years and all of the layer twos built on top of ethereum help to contribute to ethereum making up over 59 percent of all total value locked some of the other protocols worth mentioning here we've got tron in second place with about 10.84 percent binance smart chain with about 5.6 percent we've then got arbitrum which we did a, another video on recently um with about 3.8 percent solana with about 3.2 um bitcoin with about 2.96 polygon with about 1.2 avalanche 1.14 optimism manta and then others making up that final 10 percent but we can see a breakdown here even further of all of these different protocols or sorry all of these different chains and the uh total value locked across all of them so you know 54 billion dollars locked in ethereum um closest next is tron with about 10 billion and then breaking that down even further so again worth again noting here which protocols have sorry which chains have the most value locked in order to position ourselves to be able to capitalize on that and um, benefit from it as a result so again we can use the comparison tool here to compare two different chains so we've got optimism and arbitrum here two different layer two protocols uh built for ethereum and we can see a comparison of arbitrum in green versus optimism in blue in terms of total value locked over time we can see there was a period here where optimism spiked above arbitrum in terms of total value locked before uh, arbitrum has really taken over um over the course of the past year and a half and has been growing at a higher rate in terms of tvl versus optimism so again we can use this compare chains tool to compare um any assets and we can add ethereum into the mix for example and compare ethereum versus the other two obviously significantly um outperforms both optimism and arbitrum um, because ethereum is the largest chain in terms of tvl um airdrops is the next area we'll look at very briefly but basically this allows us to kind of see the um tokenless protocols that may airdrop in the near future so protocols that have value locked already oftentimes these protocols are using kind of like ious or allowing you to accumulate loyalty points that may be able to be uh, converted into their native token when they do drop that token so again if you're someone that's into airdrops it might be worth keeping an eye on this and potentially using some of these protocols to um, accumulate their um, loyalty points that could be exchanged for tokens on their native chain once they do drop in future um next area we will look at is the yields area and again if you are someone who is into yield farming and concentrated liquidity this is going to be a very interesting area for you because this gives us a breakdown of the different yields that we can achieve as a yield farmer or as someone who provides liquidity across different protocols or different decentralized exchanges so this gives us an overview of all of the different pools and the biggest pools in terms of total value locked and it shows us the apy or the annual percentage yearly uh roi that we can get um if we are to put our tokens into this specific pool so again there's a number of different ways that we can filter this area in terms of breaking down how much um breaking down the different uh pools that we can actually attribute or put capital into but taking the first one here as an example we can see that staked eth on lido gives us a 3.9 percent apy or a 3.9 percent return on our investment over a year period so again we could filter this for example by um let's just filter by binance smart chain for example and we can see all the pools that give us the best apy 
on Binance Smart Chain. And we can also filter it by the APY to give us the best APY. But a lot of these are very small uh, pools, for example, with very small total value locked. So what we can then do is we can say that we want to see pools that have at least $5 million in TVL, and we can filter that again. And then we can see that there is actually some pretty enticing pools here in terms of APY. We've got USDT to wrapped BNB on PancakeSwap that gives us about a 30% APY if we provide liquidity in that specific pool. So again, hopefully you're beginning to see here how we can use DeFi Llama to understand where capital is flowing, where the TVLs are locked up and seeing how we can provide liquidity to these different pools and earn an APY as a result of being a market maker or providing liquidity uh, into these specific pools. So again, what we've done here is we filtered for Binance Smart Chain specifically, and we said we only want to see pools that have at least 5 million in total value locked. So again, some good opportunities here on uh, BSC. We could look at a different chain, for example. Um, we could go over to, um, let's just look at Polygon as another example, because um, there's often some good opportunities on Polygon. So again, we filtered for uh, Polygon and we filtered for uh, total value locked of more than 5 million. And we can see that there are certain pools here on SushiSwap and Curve that are giving us in excess of 7 8% per year. So um, that is one way for us to um, get a good overview of the different pools and the different yields that we can achieve by providing liquidity or being a market maker on those specific pools. Um, leverage lending is maybe another area worth looking at, but basically um, this is where we can provide uh, capital into different pools and basically leverage our capital to take out another loan at a specific loan to value ratio and then also loop that capital in and provide that as liquidity or provide that as another loan and showing us the maximum loop APY for doing that here. So again, if you're someone who's into continuously looping loans and providing liquidity in terms of uh, providing loans as well, then this is an area that is super useful for you. Stablecoin pools is also another interesting one. If you are someone who is not as um, risk heavy, then looking at the different stablecoin pools might be somewhere that you want to focus on. Um, obviously, if you're providing liquidity for stablecoin pools, it's going to be uh, much less risky. You're basically eliminating the market volatility risk. And you can see here that, um, again, let's filter by total value locked of at least 5 million. And if we do that, we apply the filter and we can check our APYs, but you can see that on certain uh, projects and protocols, there are pools that give you, you know, in excess of 30, 40, 50% APY, even on stable coins. So Beefy um, is one platform, Aerodrome, I've seen some good results here. Uh, Pendle is obviously another popular one and Curve is obviously quite popular as well. But you can see that providing liquidity, even for stable coins, can give you some very enticing yields. Even Aave, we've got uh, providing um, liquidity for USDC can give you APYs of upwards of 20%. So lots of interesting stuff going on here in terms of finding the various stablecoin pools that you could be providing liquidity to and earning excellent yields as a result. One other interesting feature on DeFi Llama is their DeFi Llama swap feature. So basically they've got this area that essentially works similar to a decentralized exchange where you can connect your wallet and execute swaps with Llama swap in order to convert ETH to Bitcoin or ETH to Polygon or whatever swap you want to make. You can do that by connecting your wallet and using Llama swap the same way you would use something like Uniswap. Um, so interesting focus there. 
NFTs is another interesting area. So basically this breaks down all of the different NFT or the most popular NFT collections at least, um, showing us the floor price, the seven day changes and the volume changes over one day and seven days. If we click into any particular project, so Board Ape Yacht Club is obviously a very popular one. We can see how the floor price, the volumes and the total supply has fluctuated over time. Obviously, 2021, 2022 was a very popular time for NFTs. We could see the uh, the price popularity mapping to that in the chart here and then dropping off over the course of 2023 to where we are today. But again, if you are in the NFT world, you could use DeFi Lama to get an overview of everything going on with the NFT space. Um, next, we're going to look at centralized exchange transparency. So again, this basically just gives us a snapshot of all of the most popular centralized exchanges, um, showing us how much assets those centralized exchanges are holding, um, showing us their inflows um, in terms of the past 24 hours and in terms of the past seven days and in terms of the past month. So Binance obviously being the largest centralized exchange, OKX, Bifinex, Robinhood, Bybit, Kraken, Crypto.com, etc. And then if we click into any specific one, we can see a chart breakdown just of their total assets and how they have accumulated or sorry, fluctuated over time. Um, we can look at the total assets. We can look at US dollar inflows. And then we can also look at tweets to kind of gather a little bit of the market sentiment around that particular exchange. Um, finally, I think the, uh, the other final thing we're going to look at here is the fees and the revenue area. Because again, if you are someone who wants to be earning money with DeFi and creating your own DeFi passive income, then this area is going to be super useful for you. This area basically gives us a breakdown of all of the different um, protocols and chains, and it shows us how much fees were generated on that particular um, on that particular protocol over the past 24 hours and over the past day and over the past month and year. So again, we want to understand where is the money flowing and which chains or protocols generate the most fees in a 24 hour period. Because if you want to provide liquidity, you want to be getting a return on investment. You want to be earning yield or earning interest over a 24 hour period, over a seven day period, over a year period. And we can see here the platforms, the protocols and the chains that have paid out the most fees in the past 24 hours. So Ethereum obviously leading the way. Over $34 million just in the past 24 hours have been paid out to liquidity providers, to loan providers, and people who are deploying capital on the Ethereum network. Um, some big opportunities here on other DEXs like Uniswap, if you're providing liquidity on Uniswap. Uniswap have paid out $3.4 million in the past 24 hours alone to their liquidity providers. Radium, another decentralized exchange on Solana, paying out over 1.3 million in the past 24 hours alone. If you are providing liquidity to different pairs on Radium, you are earning a very small percentage of this, albeit, but still earning part of these fees as a result. So that is basically a very high level overview of DeFi Llama. Um, again, it is a very powerful tool. There is an extremely large amount of data available to you here on DeFi Llama, so it can be overwhelming, but depending on your use case and what you are most interested in, it can be um, very helpful to filter different protocols, uh, different lending platforms, and understanding where is the money flowing, which protocols are growing, which protocols are declining, so that you can allocate your capital efficiently and earn the best yield possible. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button below. We are on the road to our first 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to hit the subscribe button as well so you can get notified when we drop new videos every single week. And as always, we will catch you in the next one.